Today's video is just going to be catching up on where I'm at with the Mustang. I worked on it a little bit Saturday and a little bit Sunday. Um, so I'm going to bring you up to speed of where I'm at now. Welded the entire back end, all the little patches I still need to make. Uh, all that's done. And then I ground down every weld so everything is ready to go. So for today, I'm going to be putting some primer on the joints. And I'll show you the primer that I'm using for that. So let's take a look of all the spots that I did over the weekend and we'll go from there. All right, so what you can see in that video is the entire back end, all those spots that I welded shut, um, ground them down, got them ready. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is prep all the spots. I hit them with uh, some scotch Bright quick just to scuff them. I'm gonna wipe them down with some clean prep, all the bare spots like you've seen in that video. Um, and then I'm gonna go back over them and spray them just so there's no bare spots whenever whoever is buying it. If it sits for a little bit, transport, if it may get a little bit of water on it from whoever shipping it, um, this will help protect it in that case rather than it just be bare steel. So um, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put some gloves on. I'm going to wipe it with some clean prep and then shoot some of this primer on it. This is what I'm using to wipe it down just so you got an idea. Um, prep ball, which you can get pretty much anywhere. Um, I got it from Advanced Auto Parts here local. Some of the rags that I use to wipe it down, which I put on some gloves so I don't get that chemical on my skin. And then this is the shaky can stuff that I'm using just for a primer, just to, just to seal it. Whoever buys it, they could strip it back off. They could do whatever. But while it's in my possession, the car, until it leaves and gets to their place, it'll at least have a coating on it. Um, it's, for, uh, it's good for bare metal surfaces, so um, it's just red oxide primer that I'm using. So now that I got everything wiped off, I got my can shook up, we're going to go back, spray all the bare spots, all front, back, underneath, inside, um, anywhere where I was doing welding or ground anything down or there's any bare spots at all, I'm going to hit it with this red oxide primer. So that's what I'm going to do now. And that's all I'm doing is I'm just taking it. And 
and just put a nice coat on everything. Okay, now that I got all the bare spots primed, it's time to start hanging the front end. I'm starting with the fenders, and one of the first things I got to do is install all these fender clips, um, which I have a pile of them. I got the fender bolts, the inner fender bolts, which these, with this certain style clip, they get snapped right into place there, which then goes into that bracket that gets mounted on the A pillar. And also, I'm going to be putting these fender brackets. I need to find out exactly where I want them to be, so I need to attach them to the fender. I'm going to put the fender up on there, see where it needs to go. I'll tack it in place, pull the fender back off, and finish welding these. Um, and then I'll go ahead and mount the fenders again for the final time to start lining them up. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put those clips in, find out where the bracket needs to go, and then we'll start hanging these fenders. And now we got the fender back off. That's what I was trying to do, get that bracket in place, which I, I tacked it in place where it needed to be with the door and fender lined up a little bit. Um, and I also, by test fitting it on, found out that I need to bend my uh, fender bracket a little bit. Those are new reproduction ones. And you can see it's supposed to be a 90 degree. It's bent out a little bit. And that's all I need to do is just tap it back in a little bit uh, to get it more 90 degree flush so the fender mounts up right. So now I'm just gonna finish welding that bracket in and then do the same thing to the other side and then I'll be ready to mount both fenders. As you can see, I got the fenders. They're sitting there, ready to go. All the clips are in place. Fender brackets welded on, painted. I got the other fender brackets bent. Both sides needed adjusted a little bit. They're a little bit too far bent out as holding the fender up because that fender has that mounting stud in it that goes up against that. They were bent out, so it was keeping it the fender out on the door line. So to get it to suck in, I had to bend that bracket back a little bit. But they are ready to go. So tomorrow, I'll be fitting up the whole front end. Uh, I had both fenders just sitting on in place, and I set the hood down because I got this fiberglass one steel backed which if you've seen the first video of this series it was uh, it's an Eleanor style so should have the entire front end together tomorrow um, I'll film the whole thing of mounting it on I'm gonna have a bunch of time lapse so that video should be up on Wednesday uh, Monday night tonight 
So we'll look forward to that video on Wednesday if all goes well. Thanks for watching today's video and all the videos of this series. Um, I should have, like I said, that this entire front end on tomorrow. And I'm going to try and upload that video on Wednesday. Uh, set up some cameras to do a time lapse of putting the whole thing together. So you can see it, the whole thing just forming in the front end. And then the last thing that I'll need to do is set all the gaps, the door to fender, door to quarter, trunk lid gaps, just to get those all right. But um, everything should be on and bolted to the front of the car tomorrow. I primed everything that needed primed, door, uh, hood hinges. I got everything ready. I should have every bolt that I need. So that'll be what I'm doing all day tomorrow. Um, I'll post up pictures throughout the day on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, I usually put up pictures throughout the process up on there. Uh, but other than that, look for that video on Wednesday. Thanks again for watching this video and we'll see you then.